Hi guys, welcome to Family Core and Stretch. Hope you're ready to get started. Got a great, great workout in store for you. So let's get going, okay? Let's start with our warm up. We're gonna open up the torso by reaching across. Just gonna rotate the shoulders and get a good twist through your midsection. Going side to side, okay? Some blood flow in there. In case you've been sitting around, make sure we get the joints nice and loose, nice and lubricated. That way we decrease our risk of injury. All right, so now let's go side to side, reaching. Okay, just glide down the side of the body, trying to open up the opposite side. type of warm-ups you should be doing for all of your workouts. These are called dynamic stretches. You stretch, but you're not holding it. The stretches that you hold, doing those before a workout can actually increase your risk of injury. Alright, so now I want you to twist and raise the legs. So you're going to twist over the knee. Okay, so we don't want to go same side. Or, yeah, I can't even do it. Just twist it over the the opposite knee. I tried to show you what not to do. <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying. Let's keep going. Let's do a few more. Okay, let's run in place. Nice little 30 second jog here. If you guys have been eating well, you're staying hydrated. Whew. All that stuff's important, especially if you're trying to make changes, whether it's visual changes or just overall health. You can work out all day long. If your food's not where it should be, you're not going to see much progress, if any. Three, two, one, good. Let's stay stationary now. Go around in a circle, the hips. Those hips moving. A really good core workout waiting for you. And then a nice long stretch at the end. Go the other direction. exercises each one 30 seconds each after we get to the end of all four we're gonna rest for 30 seconds and then we'll beat them in reverse first one we're gonna do is we're gonna go down on the floor line on your back just start off with some regular crunches okay getting the shoulders up off the ground all right let's go you guys should be doing it with me at this point jumping right into it this one's easy it's a good one just kind of get us going. Get the abs engaged. Make sure that they stay engaged the rest of the workout. And five more seconds. Three, two, one. We just did upper abs. Now we're going to do the lower abs. Let's do hip raises. You don't have to go to the floor. Just hips to the hands. And then get the hips to come off the hands. Feet are going to go up towards the ceiling. Thirty seconds. Twist from side to side. This 
First round of stuff. Engaging all the aspects of the core. Okay, just keep going side to side. You do your core workouts. You want to make sure you're engaging the upper abs, which you've already done with the crunches. The lower abs, which we did with the leg lift. You also have rotation, which we're doing right now. Two, one. Let's flip over. We're going to go into the plank. Which is the fourth element of your core, which is your isometric pull. All right? Nice and strong. If you can't do it from your feet, go down to your knees. And we're going to continue to hold. Okay, but make sure your hips and your shoulders are the same height. Good, five seconds. Three, two, one. And you're good. 30 second break. Okay, so remember upper abs, lower abs, rotational exercises, and then holding exercises. It doesn't always have to be a plank, but there's Anything where you have to hold it and engage it without allowing it to move. Okay, 12 more seconds. We're going to repeat those four in reverse. We're going to start back at the plank. Okay, so go ahead and get ready. Get in position. We're starting at five. Two. One. Pop up. Strong. Same height as the shoulders. Four, three, two, one. Good, let's flip. We got our rotation. So knees at 90, hands out, side to side. Try to keep both shoulders on the floor. Ceiling. Okay, don't pull on your head. Make sure you feel each one. Three, two, one. Good. Take a little breather. Get some water if you need it. We have 30 second rest. Then we got a new round of stuff. Next one, we're gonna go down, one knee up out in front, one hand, or one knee down. We're gonna take the hand, we're gonna go to the side. We're gonna go down and touch, and then come back up, okay? Let's go. Right to it, our 30 seconds is up. Right into it. Try to stretch this open as you go down, and then use it, gauge it, to bring yourself back up. We're gonna go full palm, don't just touch your fingertips. Full palm to the floor. And try not to go forward with it. We're gonna go right next to the knee. Five seconds, and then we'll switch the sides. Okay, other side, knee up. Try to make a quick transition, and then right into it. No wasting time. Keep going. your back, bring up flutter kicks, go down on your back, hands underneath your hips, feet out in front, we're going up and down. 
okay? The easier up here, so the lower you go, the harder they get. But you want to make sure your back stays flat to the floor, your lower back. If you start to arch up, that means you've lost engagement in your abs. So raise it up just a little bit and keep your lower back to the floor. Four, three, two, one. We're going to stay here. Now we're doing scissors, so it's going to be an over-under movement. Over-under. Come on, stay engaged. These are a little bit harder, only because we did them second. I have to go a little higher. Just going to start to get tired. If you can, we'll stay low. We're not touching the floor. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and good. Take a little breather, 30 second rest. If you need water, grab it. Otherwise, you might as well just stay here. We're gonna start back up again with those scissors. Oh, 15 seconds. If you're ready to go. Go ahead and put your hands under your butt. And then before we start, now flatten out your back to the floor before you even lift your legs. All right, two, one, let's go scissors. 30 seconds. Over under, over under. Don't start getting too hard, just raise the legs. Going five, four, three, two, one. Flutter kicks. Oh man, these are tough. Come on, flutter them. <laughs> Come on, I'm getting tired. Hope you guys are doing better than I am. Fifteen seconds, and then we're back up on the knee. So push through this. Ten seconds. Keep it back flat to the floor. Make sure your lower abs are engaged. Three, two, one. Good. Quick. Up to the knee. And we're going to the side. Up and raise. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, good. Switch the sides. Quick transition. And we're right to it. 30 seconds. And then we have a break. Ten seconds. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Awesome. Take a little breather. We have one more round of stuff. Four up, four down. And we have a nice long stretch. Get your breath, get some water. When you're ready, bring it back to the floor. Laying on your back. Okay, we're gonna start in five seconds. Coming up into a crunch, going side to side, reaching for the heels. Ready? Let's go. Reaching for the heels, going side to side. Try to keep your shoulder blades off the floor the whole time. Five seconds. Three, two, one, good. Let's go one leg up. You're gonna grab it with your hands up and touch your toes. So you're climbing your leg. Try not to bring your leg down to you. You're gonna go up to your toes, okay? 30 seconds. It's okay to pull yourself up there. Just don't pull your leg down to you. 10 seconds. And switch the legs, leg up, let's climb.
10 seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Let's flip over. Hands and knees. We're going to go alternating. Extension. Just go opposites. Keep these slow. Not trying to rush through it. We're just trying to maintain the balance. And the extension. Reaching out. Try not to let your body shift the weight. Ten seconds. Take a little breather. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome work, guys. We have two more minutes of work, and then we'll get on to our stretch. Woo. How are you guys feeling? seconds. Just go ahead and get in position. Go back into our hands and knees, or hands and toes, I'm sorry. Or hands and knees. I had it right the first time. All right, let's go. Extensions. Alternating. Nice and slow. Nice big reaches. Ten more seconds. Then we're going to go to our back, we're going to climb the leg, starting with the second leg first. Two, one, good, let's flip. Leg up, climb it. Three, two, one. Good, just twist the legs. Almost there. You guys are feeling the burn. seconds. I'll give you just a moment to relax. We are going to start on your back for this one. All right, so let's go ahead and get on your back. All right, guys, we're going to go one leg out. Knee's going to come in. We're going to grab it and twist it across towards the floor. It doesn't have to touch the floor. We want to make sure this opposite shoulder stays down, so don't allow it to don't pull yourself so far to where it comes up. Okay? And with the knee, the knee's going down, but then we're also going to kind of bring it slightly upwards. So it's kind of coming up at a diagonal. You need to if it helps, just reach the arm out. Kind of grab onto something too. Yeah, okay. Go ahead and hold the stretch. Give you a little more advanced, so if you can't do it, that's fine. From here, we're going to reach over, grab the opposite foot, sink those down towards the floor, and try to get both shoulders back on the ground. It's called pressing stretch. You can't grab the shoelaces, or just grab the heel. You can grab the heel, grab the top of the heel. If you can't do that, that's fine. Just stay in this position. Still getting a good stretch here. If you want to try it later, you can always wrap the towel or a belt around and pull up. Good. Okay, let's come back to center. Straighten out the other leg. Bring the knee 
up, and then across, creating that diagonal upward. And the opposite shoulder stays on the floor. So you should feel a good stretch through the hip and then through the glute. Good. Good. If you're able to, let's go into that advanced pretzel stretch. If not, just continue to hold with the one leg straight out like we started with. We're holding our pretzel, trying to get both shoulders to the floor. stretch. Let's switch to the other leg. Across, both elbows down. If you can't, this is 
is also fine too. Okay, up on your hands. So what we want to do is try to lean forward so we're we'll creating a stretch in this bottom hip. Lay down, walk your hands out just a little bit. You don't want to start them way out in front. Just a little bit, and out to the side. And then slowly push up. Trying to keep your hips on the floor. Feel the stretch through the abs. Feel it in your lower back. You set your hands. And scoot them in just a little bit closer to the body. Start pushing yourself up too high. Don't go up to the ceiling. We're just trying to go back to our heels. Start pushing yourself too high. You're going to start creating a pinch to the lower back. Just relax back down. Awesome work, guys. You guys did great. Hope you enjoyed the core work. And also the great stretch at the end. Hope you're nice and loose. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.